Now, recently I did a video on cancer, and I read all the comments, and there were several people who mentioned this idea that cancer cannot live in an alkaline body. So I wanted to do a video on this concept because sometimes when you you hear things uh, from friends, family, from the news, you may adopt it as a truth, and then anything that conflicts with that is rejected. And so if you're watching this right now and you have this idea that cancer cannot live in an alkaline environment, I just want to have you take a look at the information I'm going to present and see if it changes your conclusions. So the first question is, who told you this? Who told you that cancer cannot live in an alkaline environment? Now, I will say that there are research papers out there that do show that acid environments can help cancer grow. Okay, so I'm not denying that. And there's no studies that show that having an alkaline environment or alkalizing the body will prevent or even cure cancer. So if someone says that um, they have a research paper, actually read it and see what it says. Unfortunately, you cannot get rid of cancer by consuming baking soda, alkaline water, or by taking calcium carbonate. I'm sorry. There's also a condition called metabolic alkalosis, where your body is too alkaline. And here are the symptoms, nausea, vomiting, hand tremors, muscle twitching, tingling in your face, confusion. So you have to realize that there's different fluids in the body and you shouldn't be too alkaline and you shouldn't be too acid. And the way that you achieve this optimum pH is simply by eating healthy, not by consuming things that are too alkaline or too acid. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about what does cause cancer. And that is this, mitochondrial damage. That's what's behind cancer. Now, it is true that vegetables are alkaline, but that's not the reason why vegetables are good for cancer. Vegetables contain very powerful anti-cancer properties. But I think it's quite interesting that some people are very against acids in the body. I mean, your stomach should be extremely acid, and that's a normal thing. If you alkalize the stomach, you're not going to be able to kill off pathogens. You're not going to be able to break down protein. You're not going to be able to absorb minerals. You also have things like nucleic acids, your DNA is acid. You have amino acids. You also have essential fatty acids. Are those bad? No. But the way to do that is not to alkalize the body, it's to eat healthy so your body will then adjust the pH where it needs to be. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.